Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Smart Focus Sharpen Photoshop Action Set. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to install, view and use the Smart Focus Sharpen Actions and how you can get the best out of them really, really quickly. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to open up Photoshop and you can see here I have this image uh, pulled up and if we zoom in, you can see there the focus fell short. Obviously, um, when you're sharpening a blurred image, there is only so much you can do. It doesn't matter how many AI softwares you have, how many plugins, um, anything like that. If the data isn't there, the data isn't there. But if your image is only a little bit out of focus, you're going to have really great results with this set. If your image is very out of focus, um, you may have to zoom in and work a little bit harder, but I'm going to show you exactly how you can achieve the best results possible to sharpen and save um, one of your images that you really want to use, but the focus has fallen short. So let's get started. First of all, when you've downloaded the LSP Smart Focus Sharpen set from the website, um, you'll notice in your downloads you have an ATN file. This is the Photoshop Action file. And you'll find this in your downloads after downloading from the website. And the icon may look a little something like this. To get this into Photoshop, all you need to do is double click it, and that's actually loaded into Photoshop. If you don't have your action palette visible, you won't see it right away. So you need to come up here to Window and choose Actions. On your action palette, well, it may look a little something like this, or it may be coloured. If it's in coloured button mode like this, Come up here to this little burger menu just for a moment and come off button mode so it looks like this. The Smart Focus Sharpen will come to the bottom of the action palette. What I like to do is drag any action set I'm using right to the top and you'll see it here. You can close the folder down or open it up just by clicking here. You'll see there's three actions included, sharpen out of focus areas, the sharpen extra strong and a reduced noise which will help get rid of any noise because Whenever you sharpen, whatever take you, um, technique you use on a digital image, there is going to be noise there. That is a digital version of trying to get data in there that isn't actually there in your image. So let's click over to button mode now. Come up to these little lines and click button mode and you'll see the colours. Button mode looks a right mess if it's like this. So grab the action palette and bring it in until it snaps into a nice neat line. I also like to um, have my action palette in here. You can bring it in till the blue line appears, or you can leave it free floating. Now let me just minimize this up because you've got some of my other actions showing there, just to keep things neat. Now this action does not affect your original background layer. It works on completely new layers, um, so it's completely non-destructive. Let me show you. First of all, click on the sharpen out of focus areas action that's going to be absolutely fine for this image here. Let me zoom in and show you the, uh, the level of um, focus on this one. If your image is even more out of focus, you can use the Sharpen Extra Strong. I'm going to show you that one in just a minute. So I'm going to click on the Sharpen Out of Focus Areas action here, and this is going to play out. You can see in your Layers panel, you have a little group with a black layer mask next to it. A brush on white has already been selected for you. The brush settings for this are Normal, 100% Opacity, and around 25 to 30% flow. Because everything's been selected for you, all you need to do is start painting on. As you can see here, I'm just rubbing this over the face. And any areas I wish to sharpen up. So perhaps some of the hair, the eyes. The most important thing in your image is that your eyes are focused and the lips really Everything else can kind of fall away, so you don't need to worry about sharpening the entire image. Just really focus on these eyes. So you can see I'm just rubbing the brush over there. Let's zoom in a little bit. So we can see there before and after. So you can see that has really brought the sharpness back into the, uh, the eyes and the lips and any of the details that you really want to rescue. So you can even see the little eyebrow hairs there where you couldn't really see those before. This action is also great if you just want to sharpen an area that isn't particularly out of focus, but you really want to add some pop to the eyes or the lips. And as you can see, super quick. Now how about we open a trickier image? 
I'm going to open this image here that has been sent over to me um, by ClickProps. So I'm just going to open that. You can see this is a, um, a raw file. This is straight out of the camera. Absolutely beautiful. And this is on one of my, um, my own LSP custom backgrounds there. So I'm not going to do anything to this image. You see I've lifted the exposure a little bit here. But aside from that, nothing else has changed. Just to bring some light in so we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to hit open that. Now let's zoom in. And you can see here the focus has really been missed on the face. There really is not a lot of detail to work with at all. So I'm going to use the Sharpen Extra Strong. So I'm just going to click on this one. This one does take a little bit longer um, to play out. You can see all the layers I've created for you working really hard here in your layers panel. Um, so just let that work for a moment or two. And what it's going to do, the same as before, is just create a little group with a layer mask, um, the brush and um, the colour we're going to be selected for you so you can literally get straight on and paint. You don't need to click on anything else. And it's also non-destructive to your background layer. Um, as you can see, your original image is still here. It doesn't matter how many layers you've got. So I'm just going to come and start painting this in and you can see all the detail is appearing before our eyes. Now, yes, it's noisy. Noise happens. Noise is not something... Um, to be afraid of so much because noise is um, is a digital way of adding some detail back in there. So I'm just going to sharpen up this hair as well because yeah, it's really working on bringing out the crispness of the hair there. And there we go. And that is an image that otherwise would have been completely lost, um, thrown out with the bath water, unsavable. And here it is. Look, you can see all the detail in the eyelashes. You can see everything. Now, like I said, don't be afraid of noise, but if you do want to release, um, reduce some of that noise, you can play the reduce noise um, slash smooth over action here, which is a bonus with this set. It is impossible to completely remove noise without reverting back to a blurred state. Noise is sharpness, and uh, the opposite to that is blur. So don't be afraid of the noise. The main areas you're going to want to really reduce the noise is it perhaps with some shadows and some of the highlights on the skin, just to calm it down a little but on areas like eyebrows, eyelashes, lips and things like that, really don't be afraid of the noise. It looks far more extreme on the digital um, screen. It's zoomed in, um, right now I'm zoomed in at 155%. And you can see this noise is really, really tiny. So once the reduced noise action is played out again, it's just a black layer mask. Uh, the white brush is already selected for you. You can start rubbing this over any areas you wish to just decrease that noise. Now I have not set this one too high because I feel that reducing too much noise when you've had to really overly sharpen an image is kind of counterproductive. So I'm just taking it off some of the skin here. I may use it a little bit on the eyes here, but it all depends on your image and where you want to use this. You can also make your brush nice and small and just work in some of the areas. You can even see all the lines of the lips have been brought back. You really don't want to lose that. So just under here a little. So let me turn these on or off and show you our before and after. This is our genuine before and I mean that would not have been a usable shot. And now we have all the details popping in. And that's just in a couple of minutes. As you can see, super, super easy to use. And because you have the actions here, they're not destructive to the background. The background is still there. You can just select the black layer mask and grab a brush. And you can add this to anywhere else too. So for example here, let's get all that mesh detail back. Whereas before it would have been completely lost. Oh look, there it is. Just like that. Add some detail in the hands. Every fabric crease, every line. It's just magic. You can just paint it on. Take a little of that noise out of the skin. And we're done. And now we have a crisp, sharp image to use. And if you want to, you can stack these up. You can play it again and again and again and layer it up if you want to. So that's how to use the LSP um, Smart Focus Sharpen Photoshop Action. This will work in um, work best in Photoshop Creative Cloud because it's faster. But you can also use this in Photoshop Elements 14+, Plus. that's PSE. Photoshop CS5, Photoshop CS6. So, happy sharpening. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.